In this video, I'll be giving you simple tips on how to overcome tardiness or how to avoid going late to every event. Some people are habitual, perpetual late comers. So if you don't want to be in that category anymore and you're tired of that, then this video is for you. I'll be back. Hey guys welcome back to my channel Afrojanic it's a pleasure having you if it's your first time you're very much welcome you are the celebrity on this channel do well to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification to all so you won't miss a thing when I upload a new video or come live streaming if you are a returning subscriber you know I love you thank you so much for always coming back so this is the episode 2 day 2 of 30 of the 30 days challenge habit to reset that we said we we're going to be doing on this channel with the help of god so without further ado let's jump right into how to overcome tardiness or how to avoid going late to every event okay so then i realized that everyone has a good reason for going late to every event go late to school go late to parties go late to church go late to offices go late to everywhere basically everywhere you go to you always have a good reason for going late yes always the traffic always the uh, rain always the sun always you know there is always one thing to hold responsible for your lateness but the truth is this if you are a habitual late comer if you always find yourself entangled with tardiness and not just that it has become a serious habit and you're unable to break it come closer the first step to breaking it at all is to admit that it is a problem and it's not just a problem a very serious problem so now that you admit that it's a problem i want you to make sure that whenever you are late next time don't blame it on anyone blame it on yourself for instance your boss talks to you about you coming late and your boss is angry at you for coming late just stay quiet and accept it that it is your fault the more you try to defend yourself for coming late the more stupid you look i'm sorry to use that word but that's just what it is looking at seven reasons why most people go late so if you are able to fix these seven reasons for tardiness then it means you can overcome lateness in a matter of days within seven days actually you can overcome tardiness number one go to bed early we all are victims of this number one thief i am also victim of it because as a content creator most times i go to bed late most times i don't sleep on time and when that happens it affects your morning so you find yourself going late to work you find yourself going late to church you find yourself going late to services you find yourself going late to practically everywhere the only way to overcome that is to make sure you go to bed early as early as 8 p.m 9 p.m if you don't sleep at 9 p.m it might just be difficult for you to get up at 4 3 or 4 it might just be difficult in a country like nigeria it might be difficult see yourself going to bed earlier in order to avoid going late to activities number two be organized be organized when i mean be organized the night before you want to see yourself tidying up stuffs make sure everything is set make sure your dress is ready that you're going to be wearing tomorrow well ironed if you need to iron if you live in a country like nigeria where you have to plan everything according to the uh, power supply quickly do that as soon as you see light at night in fact i know a couple of people who would have their bath at night and wake up at about 3 4 a.m and just have a light shower in order for them to save more time so whatever works for you check it out make sure you are organized make sure you are pre-organized organize yourself before the event and that will save you a lot of stress number three give enough time give yourself enough time for preparation when i mean give enough time for preparation what i'm simply saying is you know how long it's going to take you to get dressed you know how long it's going to take for ladies to do the makeup you know how long it's gonna take you to have all of your facials done you know how long it's gonna take you to 
dress yourself up so you want to include that in your plan include that time in your plan if it's gonna take you 30 minutes to get dressed if it's gonna take you one hour including your facials to get dressed you want to include that in the timing and trust me ladies are always on this table a lot of ladies are on this table of tardiness a lot of ladies so whatever it is that takes more of your time you want to see yourself creating time for that thing so you can quickly fix it and hit the road number four set your alarm backward set your alarm backward now if you're supposed to wake up at 5 a.m because you have an event to attend the next morning you want to see yourself setting your alarm to 4 a.m having one hour extra to do stuff that you need to do and i hope this is making sense number five i can't overemphasize this one give enough room for traffic give enough room for traffic in a in a country like nigeria you can't predict traffic you just can't predict traffic even there are times when you leave your house way earlier like two three hours before the event you still find yourself going late so all that you want to do at this time is google map is your best friend if you live in a traffic zone like lagos especially learn to use the google map because google map is going to show you easy way around google map is going to show you where to go through and um, google map is your friend if you live in a country like nigeria lagos especially so if you live anywhere else you really want to see yourself navigating looking for the fastest ways to get to where you're going always look for ways to cut the slow traffic all right like in nigeria we have alternative even though the alternative is a dangerous one it's um with about 80 percent risk where you have to take the motorcycle and <laughs> We have a whole lot of funny cyclists around here. So you really want to be careful if you're going to be going by motorcycle. But if not, plan your time. You have to wake up way earlier, earlier than usual to have enough time for slow traffic. Number six, stop trying to squeeze in more programs into your already tight schedule. I don't know how to say that. Some of us want to have so many things done. At a very short space of time you are going to over in fact you are going to overwork yourself in fact i'll advise that you reduce your workload you can achieve everything in a day you have just 24 hours so you have to plan your 24 hours in order to be able to meet those things that you can achieve within 24 hours don't try to pack activities that should be achieved in 48 hours into 24 hours it won't be possible you end up overworking yourself and at the end of the day you wouldn't be meeting up on some delivery you're going to be coming late there is no how you want to do it you're going to be doing a lot of things late because imagine you have overworked yourself in the office you definitely get home tired you sleep extra time if you're mentally tired physically tired getting up the next morning might be just so difficult even when the alarm is waking you up you find yourself snoozing i'm sure you don't want that to happen to you so do those things that you can handle just within the space of time that you can like for instance you spend close to like eight hours in the office if you spend eight hours or less in the office make sure you are able to achieve only those things that eight hours can cover don't try to achieve 24 hours in eight hours i hope i'm making sense number seven which is the last one here hmm. imagine yourself as the host play the host at least for once imagine you are the one hosting the program you don't want to see yourself going late to a program you are the host so if the call time is 7 a.m as the host you want to see yourself getting there like 6 a.m or 6 30. you have to program your mind to the fact that okay i'm the one in charge of this program and i cannot mess up i can't afford to mess up before you know what's happening you become conscious of you going early 
to programs. You are conscious of it. It's no longer something that you struggle to do because you want to see yourself hosting the program all the time. You want to see yourself hosting the program all the time. And like I always say, it's not possible for you to do anything without God helping. I understand the human aspect of you has to be fixed. Then God will give you the strength and the enablement to be able to handle some of these things. But the truth is, don't leave God out. It's not possible to leave God out whenever you're trying to change a habit or trying to work on a bad habit. So always remember, God is there to help you. God will always be there to wake you up at that time when you really need to get up. I don't know how else to say it. But I want to believe you understand what I am saying. So you pray, call on God to help you with that habit of yours that is making you go late to every event, to every program. And I know God in his infinite mercy is going to show up for you. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, you want to share it with friends and family, those people you think need it, you want to share it with them. And also don't forget, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Remember, it's just episode 2 of 30. And so be treating different habits of... Don't forget to tune in every day to this channel as we are dedicated to uploading every day all through the month of April to overcome that bad habit or any form of addiction. So if you want me to treat a particular topic that bothers you, all you have to do is drop a comment for me in the comment area and I'll also be dropping my Instagram account and email address in case you need to discuss with me privately and i'll be glad to answer all of your questions until tomorrow see you in my next video